Slava Ukraini. So in the previous episode, we worked on uh, creating infinite scroll pagination where we had a list of uh, comments and we show five comments uh, and we have a load more button. And uh, when we click load more, it sends a turbo stream request and it uh, adds the next page. And as the next page, as long as there are additional pages, uh, so this way we have a load more button. But now we are going to do it in a totally different way. We are going to uh, use uh, exclusively Turbo frames to add the uh, new pages. Now, here I have an example. We've got a list of posts. And uh, when I scroll down, you see it uploads additional uh, posts. So you see the scroll indicator changes and the same way I have infinite scroll, but I don't have a load more button. I don't need it anymore. And uh, I have a turbo frame that uh, loads the next page of uh, posts. And the cool thing with turbo frames is that uh, uh, if um, a turbo frame is uh, hidden inside an HTML or it isn't the uh, indivisible part of the page, it uh, doesn't load. So uh, we don't have to think about some kind of uh, JavaScript uh, uh, with some kind of observers to see if uh, an element is visible or is not visible on the page because uh, it is already been handled by tube of frames by default. So now let's see how we can do this kind of uh, infinite scroll pagination that uh, really looks like Twitter or a Facebook feed. And, you know, it's really easy. So let's start by uh, going back to the application that we've worked in, in the previous uh, video. So I'll go bin dev, start the server. Now we're going to do it in the same application again. I'm saying uh, the one that we had in the previous video. So we had a list of comments and uh, we have a load more button and a load more button and no load more button if there are no more comments. And now we are going to do one more table, the more scaffold of posts in the same application. So uh, I'll stop the server, get status. Yeah, the branch is clean. Uh, Rails generates scaffold uh, posts. A post will have a title and let's say it will have an uh, image. So I will say image, actually an image URL. So image URL. Let's say Rails to be migrate and uh, status. Let's uh, comment our changes. So git at all, git commit main uh, message scaffold posts. Okay, now let's uh, have a look at our posts. So I'm navigating to posts and you see we have an empty list of posts. So let's add some. I'll go to the B seeds. And have had this uh, seed to create some comments. Let's also create some posts. I will say post dot great uh, title will be faker. Let's say music band. So music dot band. Let's see if this actually works. I will start the console. Faker music band, and it gives me a random music band. And for the image. URL, we will have a faker avatar uh, dot image. Let's see if this works. So you see it gives me a random URL to an avatar of a robot. Well, that's the way this faker command works. So, okay, let's uh, run the migration. Uh, Rails DB, let's actually reset the whole uh, Database ready to be reset. Okay, now we'll go to bin dev and see if our posts have been created. So here are the other comments. I can close them and here we have the posts. Okay, so here we have a big list of posts. They have image URL. Let's actually make this image visible. They'll go to our app views posts uh, post and here we'll have an uh, image tag to the post image URL. Okay, and now we have the images visible. So we have uh, 100 posts. Let's also show the IDs of the posts so that we can actually track uh, that these are unique uh, new posts in the list. 
Okay, so ID one, two, three, and each has a unique uh, image. Okay, and now let's add some basic pagination. So uh, the way we did it previously with our comments controller using the gem uh, page, we had uh, we had uh, this command uh, page will have posts instead of comments, and let's say we'll have uh, five items per page. Okay, so the posts are ordered from uh, newest to oldest, and we have just five posts, so the posts from ID 100 to ID 96 on this page. Okay, and if we navigate to something like page equals two, you see we already have the next page of posts. So the pagination kind of uh, works. Let's uh, actually save our changes. I'll say git status, git add all, git commit message, uh, seeds and pagination for posts. Okay, and now let's think. So uh, here in our posts uh, index, we have uh, our posts that are being rendered. And underneath, so when we scroll to the bottom, we are going to have a turbo frame to load the next page of the posts. So it will be something like equals turbo frame tag. Then the turbo frame tag is going to have a unique ID. So uh, something like uh, posts, page, and uh, the number of the page. So the, the number of the page would be something like uh, uh, at page.next. Now let's uh, see what page.next uh, does. This didn't break anything. Let's say at page.next. And you see the next page would be two. If I have uh, posts page two, so this is page two here, the next would be page three. Okay. Uh, so that double frame tag posts uh, page next. This is the ID. Then the source would be. Uh, actually the posts path, so posts index. But uh, how would it work? It would be a page URL for the way we did it for our comments. In the index, we had uh, a page URL for. Let's see how this URL for would look. Let's say equals page URL for page page next. Let's remove this now. So they're going to have uh, a tube of frame with uh, the URL that is uh, this one to the next page of posts. So I will add this. The uh, source is going to be page URL for page, page next. And it would go to posts index with the params of page equals three. Okay. Uh, let's see if this does anything. Let's uh, go to our posts. Let's open our console. Here it is. So we have uh, get posts. Yeah, uh, get posts, why is it page two? Let's open our network tab and re remove everything. I will refresh the page. And we have get posts and get posts page two. So we try to uh, directly load this to the frame. Now, not to load it uh, directly, we would say something like loading uh, uh, lazy, I guess. So loading lazy. And now let's go back. I will uh, refresh the page. And uh, what do we have? We are getting our posts. And if we keep scrolling down, you see we had a new request and we've uh, got one more request from posts. And you see only when I scroll to the bottom, thanks to this uh, loading lazy param, we have this uh, get posts page two. So uh, by adding the loading lazy, the new posts, uh, well, actually this type of frame content is getting loaded only when we scroll to the bottom. Okay, what uh, is next? Why don't we um, see the new posts anywhere? 
let's have a look at our uh, request. Well, actually it tries to re-render the whole index page and it tries to find the, it tries to find the, a tube frame tag with the post page next on this page. So this wouldn't work. We would need to load some kind of different content. Uh, we would need to have something uh, that would be loaded only if we have a param of uh, a page. So, so uh, let's say uh, we'll go to our post controller and say if uh, params page, then we would uh, uh, render. Uh, some kind of additional partial. So some kind of partial that is scrollable. So uh, render, uh, how do we say it? Uh, render, let's say list or scrollable list. And to make the syntax a bit better, I would say that it can be a one-liner. Run the scrollable list if there is a param page. And now I'm going to add this uh, partial. So going to our posts, I'm going to add a partial scrollable list.html.erb. Okay, actually not a partial, but it can be a template. And inside this template, we are going to have a turbo frame uh, tag. So equals turbo frame tag. Now what I did we have here, uh, so here we have uh, that value in the next page, and here it's going to be this current page, so page dot page, and uh, we would have a do statement, and we would load our uh, posts once again. So I would say render posts. Okay, let's see if this would uh, work. So what happens? Here I have a tube frame tag on the index page, and uh, I go to the uh, index page and uh, I'm going to have a param page and I'm going to render another partial that does have uh, a tube frame tag with the, the right ID. Sounds a bit complex, but uh, if you think about it and have a look at the code for like 20 minutes, then <laughs> it's much easier. Anyway, let's see if this works. Uh, going to posts. So here I have the posts, I keep scrolling, and you see I have the next page of posts. Wow, it seems to be working, so 95 to uh, 91. And then I don't have any additional posts. Why? Because I would need to, again, render this turbo frame tag inside our scrollable list. So let's also put this turbo frame tag into a partial. Let's name it next page. I'll say next page.html.erb and I would move this turbo frame tag to this next page partial and I would render both next page in the scrollable list and in our index now I'll comment all the stuff that we don't need so we are going to render the next page partial where we have our turbo frame with a unique ID for the next page. And based on this, we're going to tell our controller to run the scrollable list with the right ID. So let's see if it works. I'm going to our posts. I'll clean everything up. Here we have post with ID 100. I keep scrolling down, 96, 95. So we got a request to posts. And you see, it's working just so easy. So you see, uh, the posts are being added to the list. Let's scroll to the very bottom. And yeah, here's the end and nothing else is loaded and there are no errors. Works like uh, magic. And uh, a few final things that we can do. We'll go to our uh, turbo frame tag. Let's clean it up a bit. So we'll say loading lazy. Then we have the uh, URL and we can make a placeholder if it takes too long to load. 
and here we can have any HTML like uh, div uh, you know, loading. We can give it some class. Uh, what class shall we give it? Let's say uh, background blue, whatever. Let's see if this will work. So I'm reloading. And here you see we have a loading placeholder with a blue background, but uh, the loading happens really fast, so uh, the blue background doesn't stay for long. So, well, it works. And uh, possibly you would also want to have some additional stuff like uh, auto scroll true, but let's see how it would look. So, uh, I'm scrolling and you see it's jumping the page. So actually this auto scroll param doesn't uh, suit any good purpose here. So I would uh, not use it. And uh, well, let's recap what we did. So uh, first of all, we got our post controller. We've got regular pagination. And then we say that if uh, uh, we have a pagination param, so if we have a param page, then we render not the index page, but we render the scrollable list. In the index page, we uh, render the uh, partial next page. And in this partial, we have a tuba frame tag with uh, a unique ID of the next page page, and uh, it loads the next page. And uh, so this is the request, and it responds with uh, a turbo frame tag with the next page of posts, and uh, the next turbo frame that will have a, a next uh, correct ID. So uh, I really like this approach because it doesn't uh, require any turbo streams. It doesn't require any uh, stimulus controllers, uh, no uh, strange observers. And uh, if you just think about it, uh, uh, I would say that it's uh, like uh, it's like a genius approach. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, if uh, you have any ideas on how this could be even better, though, I really love it. Uh, please comment or tell me directly. But uh, you see we've added really little code here, only the post controller index page, the post index HTML template, and we've got two additional pages with uh, the content that is uh, rendered that is scrollable and the turbo frame tag. Yeah, that's about it. So uh, thanks for being uh, with me through all this time and uh, have a great time coding. Slava Ukraine!